using Riemann sum to approximate the area under the curve. So for n equals 4 rectangles, we need to find each width, which will be 2 minus 0, that comes from the interval, divide by 4, which comes from the 4 rectangles. Simplify this, you get 0.5. Now, let's make a table of value. We're going to start at x equals 0, that's where our interval starts. And then for x value, we're going to constantly add by 0.5 until we get to x equals 2. That's where our interval ends. And find the corresponding f of x values. To find the left Riemann sum, we're going to use the 4 left f of x values. So the area is about 0.5, which comes from the width, times the sum of these four values. Simplify this, you get about 1.75. To find the right Riemann sum, well, we're going to use the four right f of x values. Then the area is about 0.5 times the sum of these four values. Simplify this, you get 3.75. Now, the actual area is going to be between 1.75 and 3.75. Well, if you use 8 rectangles instead, we need to find its width, which will be 2 minus 0, comes from the interval, divided by 8, which is the 8 rectangles. Simplify this, you get 0.25. We'll do the same thing. Let's make a table of value. We're going to start at x equals 0. And for the x values, we're going to add by 0.25 every single time until we get to x equals 2. And find the corresponding f of x values. The left Riemann sum, we're going to use the 8 left f of x values. So the area is about 0.25, which comes from the width, times the sum of these 8 values. Simplify this, you get about 2.1875. For the right Riemann sum, we're going to use the 8 right f of x values. So the area is about 0.25 times the sum of these 8 values. Simplify this, you get about 3.1875. Combining these two information, the actual area is between 2.1875 and 3.1875. To get a more accurate answer, use more rectangles. For reference, the actual area is 8 over 3, which is about 2.667. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.